but there is new evidence that shows working that graveyard shift can make you sick. Working nights is bad for your gut and bad for your brain. The stress on the circadian rhythm of yeah. humankind. If chronic pain is affecting your mental health, then you have to stop allowing the pain to control your life. We got crews coming. I'm not a doctor and I have no formally certified medical training, but you're probably not here for a doctor since you're looking for a solution on YouTube. That being said, I do have some experience with chronic pain and what worked for me might also work for you. I'm sure you have been to several doctors by now who probably told you either there's nothing wrong with you or there was nothing they could do. And when the people who are supposed to be there to help you can't or won't, that can lead to you feeling much worse. If you have been dealing with this for a while, I'm sure you spent a lot of money on different medications, massage, chiropractic, acupuncture, anything you could do to find relief in hopes it would solve your problems, and it hasn't. The first thing you have to do is want to feel better. I know you're thinking, obviously I want to feel better, but it's like when people say they want to be healthy and lose weight, but then not doing anything to achieve that. Or they do it for a little while, and before they see the results they want, they give up. When you're putting in the work to lose weight or even trying to build muscle, you can't see the progress in a week or a month. But if you're consistent, there is progress. When the only thing you are thinking about every second you are awake is the physical pain that you feel, it will begin to control every aspect of your life, including your mental health. I know the physical pain is real and it's not all in your head, but if you are having pain that can't be linked to any injury or illness, your mental health is likely a major contributing factor. Police officers and many other professions are forced to work night shifts, and night shift is terrible for your health, especially for cops. Officers often suffer from adrenal exhaustion and fatigue, a byproduct of daily hypervigilance which can create dysregulation of cortisol. Over time, this hormonal dysregulation can predispose officers to many physical and mental ailments including high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, depression, antisocial and thrill-seeking behaviors, suicidal thoughts, and PTSD-like symptoms, not to mention the energy drinks and the lack of healthy food choices on night shift. If you are working night shift and you never feel rested, you have to find a way out. Whatever reason it is you have for staying on night shift, it isn't worth your health. The truth is, to feel better, it takes time and work. What you have to do is focus on yourself and yourself only. You might be married, you might have kids, a job, school, whatever it is, and you're thinking, I can't do that, I can't focus on myself. Well, you actually don't have any other choice. I'm not telling you to completely neglect those responsibilities, I'm telling you to focus your energy on finding yourself again and discovering wellness. Because you can't provide the same quality of effort into any of those other areas of your life if you have chronic pain. Imagine the quality of focus and quantity of effort you could give your family, your job, or your hobbies if you felt well enough to focus on those things. And if there is no medical explanation for your pain, then it's possible that these other areas of your life also may, in some ways, be responsible. By going to this physician or that physician time after time, you're just avoiding taking action. You are looking for a quick fix, and a quick fix doesn't exist. It can also be very stressful hoping that this next new thing is going to be the answer, only to find out again that it's not. The good news is you really don't care if the fix takes a while, as long as it's fixed. What you have to do is reprogram your brain, and you do this by taking action. The only way that you can truly focus on yourself is by spending a little bit of time every day away from the stressors in your life. What worked for me was doing yoga. Restraining of the mind from focusing on external objects. In efforts to reach a state of pure consciousness, physical postures, breathing exercises, and spiritual contemplation is widely believed to have a unique set of health advantages, such as improving strength and flexibility, boosting heart and lung function, and enhancing psychological well-being. And it costs you nothing. Just look it up on YouTube. You can do yoga with Melanie, yoga with Emily, or yoga with Jim if that's something you're into. Fixing the sleeping habits and doing yoga will hopefully be all you need. But just like you are not going to lose weight if you stop before you see the results, you are not going to get better if you give it minimal effort. If you have your own health experiences working night shift, let us know if and how you resolve those in the comments. If you've already tried everything else and nothing else has worked, then you have nothing to lose. We got crews coming.